now to the remarkable story of Corinthian casuals, a club who play in the eighth tier of English football, but who helped globalise the game in the early 1900s. This week, they're swapping the Ryman League for Brazil and will face the Corinthians of Sao Paulo in front of around 50,000 fans. <laughs> In a leafy corner of Surrey lies a little club that brought football to the world. Founded in 1882 by the FA, the Corinthians twice provided the entire England team. They invented the word soccer. They're the reason England and Real Madrid play in white. And this week, they've travelled to Brazil to play their more famous namesakes a trip embarked on just over a century ago. In 1914, the war was declared when they were still on the ship to Brazil. And so they had to take the decision, what do we do? And they, they decided that they had to return straight away and join the war effort. And so many of those players died on the battlefields of the First World War. So we wanted to go back to Brazil this year and fulfill the fixtures that never happened. <laughs> It's not the first time they'll have travelled to the land where football is a religion. This is the trophy that was given to us in 1988 when the club first in the modern era went out to play against Corinthians Paulista. And you see Socrates played in that match actually in our shirt. He played for the first 70 minutes for them. He scored the winning goal. Ajeitada, Socrates, por cima, olha aí, pode ser. And then he swapped sides. And then he switched allegiances yeah. for the last 20. I bet he didn't manage to score for us, <laughs> so it's a shame. When you're playing for a club like this, you know about what's gone in the past, all the great history of the club, and I think this kind of makes you feel more a part of it, because we're kind of, this is our own chapter. The fact that we get to do something that they never got to do 100 years ago is a great privilege for us. They'll play at a sell-out arena, Corinthians. It's extraordinary. A team of plumbers and builders, teachers, decorators, and they're going to be playing against world champions in front of 50,000 people. Such is their legendary status in Brazil to this day. We have Brazilian fans come and we ask them to sign and, and put their, their details down and just little messages. And they come and they see the pitch and it means so much to their fathers, their grandfathers, that they just start crying at the sight of our pitch. In fact, as the team met to try on their tour suits, one Corinthians fan had interrupted his honeymoon to make that sacred pilgrimage. The real fans from Corinthians, everybody knows the, the heritage and the, orig the origin of our, the, the club name. What was it like when you were here today? Did you feel emotional? For sure, for sure. To go into the pitch and take some pictures. It was great, very emotional. This club's massive to me. I've been here, I've been here since I was a little kid. I've, I've seen the club grown and to go there and play out in Brazil against Corinthians, it's a dream come true. I'm told you're a hero in Brazil. You probably can't walk down the street in Sao Paulo without getting mobbed. Yeah, I keep getting told that I'm a hero in Brazil. Him and Neymar are kind of on a level out in Brazil, is that right? <laughs> what I'm led to believe, I think he's bigger than Neymar. They're assured a hero's welcome as they head from Surrey to Sao Paulo. Jamie Weir, Sky Sports. What a great tale that is.